today I'm going to make some sort of fixture so I can easily run multi tools, multi turning tools on my CNC mill. Now this is this is not something new. There are a lot of uh, nice videos out there which you can use uh, depend on the machine or program you're running. What I run is uh, just a homemade CNC and I run Mach 4. And I like to run this with a Mach 4 late as well, late profile. So when we do that, uh, simply I don't have any uh, Y axis. In case of having one, uh, more than one tool and running Mach 4 native uh, uh, late profile, uh, we have an issue of lining up our uh, tool offset. Unless tip of both of these tools are in perfect line, which is achievable by putting a bunch of spacer and making it work for a rare job that you run, it's very difficult to set up a multi-tool lathe operation uh, in native uh, Mach 4 profile. So my solution uh, to this is uh, building, a, building a fixture that will hold at least four individual tool holders, which will have an inch and a half slot and they will be bolted down to this plate. So once you have your plate on your vise, you will have different type of tools set up. So benefit of this would be you're able to individually move your parts in Y axis for uh, initial setup. And you can just simply run uh, a Mach 4 native uh, uh, late or turning profile and you don't have to do much of uh, G code editing. All right, so I'll meet you guys uh, at the mill and uh, we'll start this up. All right, I got four tool holders started so far. These two are for uh, a profiling tool and this one is for cutoff tool. And these two will be either for a end mill or a for boring bar. So I'm gonna do half inch on one and quarter inch on the other. Down road if I need any other uh, tool uh, holder I can definitely add to this combination. So I'm going to bore a 5 8 and quarter inch hole in one holder and 3 8 and half inch on other holder. So this way it will cover pretty much a lot of bases.
pretty much all the pieces for jig is done. I'm gonna use this perma blue to blue them out. The jig is done. Depend on what sort of jobs I'll be doing on this, I might be making an extra tool holder for it, which would be super easy. As far as holding parts in the spindle, this will be one option, machining down each piece to a half inch and then holding in tool holder. That would have a little bit of limitation. So I'm going to use this three inch or 80 millimeter mini chuck. I'm gonna make a back plate for it. So this will mount on a tool holder and it will give us a little bit more flexibility. The only downside, this is only rated for 4,000 RPM, which I think will be more than enough for what I'm going to do. All right. All right, let's see how good this thing is. Between six, seven tenths, which is great for, uh, for the price I paid for this chalk. Just 60 bucks. I'm going to try to spin it at 3000 RPM. Absolutely no vibration whatsoever. Let's try 3500. Perfect, now everything, now that everything works, let's start making some parts. For now, I'm just gonna rough this. This is no precision whatsoever. I'm just using this uh, engraving tool until I come up with some sort of uh, more precise and easier way to set this up. So what I'm going to do, just, So this tool has a flat side and the other side. So once I have a touching tool, all I'm going to do, tie those two bolts. That's for our tool number one. Just purpose of the mystery in this, I'm just roughing this. So they got, uh, I will figure out definitely more precise way of setting this up. And if you look at it, our profiling tool and cutoff tool has quite a bit of shift. But their tips, they're in perfect line as far as Y axis goes. All right, for testing this out, I'm just, I just made a quick uh, part that will use three tools, uh, profiling tool, drill, and cutoff tool, and see how it works. It's an inch diameter aluminum.
Well, here is the official uh, first part. I think I'm gonna like this. Thank you for watching.